and we are now leaving this big beautiful place that's got the best view of i've seen so far in africa Let's see here oh i keep having to do this there we go there's the sand dunes way over there i know i've already showed you guys this in like one of the first videos thank you well, we're actually on our way over to a different area that's like three hours north of here and yes i still i just had to put a little bit of that cream inside of my eye it feels like a big gunky mess still it doesn't hurt as bad To the journey. Well, that's not gonna work. Whoa, hey! All right, what's going on? I had to make a pit stop over here to pick up all of our um, our animals. We got we got we're gonna get them skinned. Uh, actually, excuse me, they've already been skinned. We're gonna get them tanned, and then we got to pick up the, of course, the head. There's my uh, my sable, my niala. Ryan's got Neelan, Impala, niala. Um, I don't even know what else he has. It's Elin. We got some of our skins in here. They throw salt on our wall. Those well, skins are all in the back right now. Look at that mustache. Look at it. Contaminated area. That's what it says. Contaminated area, restricted area. There's a sable. That's actually my sable I got the other day, and that is the, the Nile I took yesterday with my bow. Took that one with a rifle. Ryan's pretty much stacked up everything. He's got Elin, oh my gosh, Waterbuck, Nile, and I can't remember you right now. Impala. Impala. This next place we're going to be going is actually back in the mountains. We're like, I think we're around like five or 6,000 foot up in the air right now. It's a little bit different climate, a little bit chillier, a little bit drier, as you guys can tell. I mean, look at the... This is not a good representation, clearly. I mean, that's just brick and rock and dirt. But, I mean, if you guys look, it literally looks kind of like Arizona, where I was hunting in Arizona. That's all it kind of looks like. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Damn, I'll tell you right now, the inside of that taxidermy office, they will clean out your nasal passages pretty, pretty quick. Like, real quick. It's pretty strong inside of there. I decided to take a gander at the sable. Yeah, the sable, the next place we're having, I want to go after, uh, they call them a hems buck. But like a hems buck, and I'm going to try a little archery. I'm, I'm hoping, like, that was, that was the thing. We had four days at the last place, and I really only got to hunt for about a day and a half or so because of my eye. And I went for an entire day going after one Nile, and finally, as you guys saw in the last video, if you guys did see that one, I finally, finally, finally got one at 85 yards. Hopefully, it's not the case out here. Hopefully, with me and Rackley, we will hammer down real quick on one. Like a hens buck, but we call them gems bucks, gems box, whatever, because we're American. On a good note, we have seen one spring buck. <laughs> yeah, you can't really see very far here, you know, it's pretty, pretty much thick. All right, so this is where I'm staying. Oh, that was my ch chest. Oh, wow. This uh, is cool. So apparently this is where I'm going to be staying this next time. I've got two extra beds. I've got a zebra carpet. That's going to be my little sleeping time area over there. This is absolutely phenomenal. This is one of the best hunting camps I've ever seen in my entire life. And I nice. We'll go check out the bathroom real quick. It's like a... It smells, um... My nose is getting kind of clogged. Bathroom? Yeah, it looks like a bathroom. There's a shower. It's pretty, pretty much, pretty much that. All right. I've also got a strange half door. I think you guys are right now, I think we're like 3,500 to 4,000 foot up here. It's a bit colder and a 100% drier. You can already like feel it like in the nose and the mouth, like how, how much more drier it is, like the, compared to where we just, we were literally just on the coast coast. Like you guys saw the sand dunes in the Indian Ocean. Now we're three and a half hours to four hours north in the mountains, 4,000 foot up. And it's just, just like this. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hunting lodge. This is insane. <laughs> I can believe that. Oh my. Rackley. Rackley is going to see the wood and get so excited. That's that son of a gun that ran away from me yesterday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm looking for right there. We want one of those, and one of those, and one of those. Well, Ryan got one of those already. Oh, dang, look at all this stuff. Look at that kudu. Look at that kudu. This looks like tiger wood. 
It's like the same stuff I'm in my desk at. Oh, Rackley. It's the first thing I said when I came in here. Like, Rackley's going to get wood over the wood. So with a given terrain, I think I actually might do a little bit of rifle hunting. We've only got like two days here, maybe three days here. And I would like to at least try to get two animals. Uh, I really would love to try to find a red leshway and a uh, Gimsbok would be amazing or an Impala, something like that. Like we saw a Springbok on the way in. The way African hunting works, it's it's completely different than anything in the States. Like we're going to be hunting, um, I think it's somewhere around 15,000 or 20,000 thousand acres uh it's just it, it's just it's huge huge massive area we gotta go find the animals and then we gotta go of course hunt them and you can't it's just it's just different it, a lot of people think that you just go and you're like all right you know what i want this animal and then it's it's waiting for you now you seriously gotta actually find it and then just whatever whatever i find um there's a couple that i really don't not too too excited about but hunting's hunting i'm actually gonna do jack let me let me get changed and i'll see you guys here in like one second well, we're switching over to the Channel 6 News camera, and we've got somewhat of a look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Star player on the Channel 6 News look team right here. Look at that face. Getting the goods this week. I feel good. Relaxed and ready. Think something's going to happen today? They're speaking in Afrikaans over there, but the little that I've picked up is it's very exciting atmosphere here. Have you picked like up a lot of Afrikaans as you've been here? I've been trying to study. Study the world, the culture. They're speaking Afrikaans. We have no idea what they're saying. I think that it's popping off here. Like, like Cardi B? Like we could all get something this evening. That's how good yeah. it is? A little different than the other place? Yeah. This is, it's actually hard to put in perspective. So we're just driving around, kind of like getting a feel for it. We've seen Gimsbuck. Dude, we've seen everything. We've legitimately seen every, I, I really want to see a red leshway, like a bull, but we've only seen cows and tiny ones. But we've seen Kudu, red leshway, Gimsbuck, um, Nyala, Giraffe, Blue Wildebeest, Black Wildebeest, Impalas, Black Impala. Am I missing anything? Gimsbuck, yeah. Springbucks. Uh, Springbucks and Springbuck. I've never in my life would I've ever guessed. Guess we're getting out. <laughs> Something's going on up there. Let's get in the car. Put that in perspective. Three shots with a seven mil. Seven millimeter, three shots. Still just cooking. But I did hit all three, right? Is that it? I heard. That's what's nice about that suppressor. Wow, it's windy. Got it, good. I didn't see the shot, so I wasn't sure what it was. You were confident. See, the thing is, is like, you gotta realize, shooting with a rifle is completely, it's like second nature. Yeah. But, <laughs> it's like, Let's go and have a look at him. Okay. Guys, did you see that? He turned and he goes, it's 800 yards away. There he is. That's a tough son of a buck. That is crazy. Must be like a giant version of our pig. Yeah, it usually takes, like, takes pigs a few shots. Tons of, tons of shots. Oh, you so shot it three times. I've never seen that before, bro. Right? Really? Never. How long have you been doing this for? 18 years. 18 years. Yeah, my second shot. That's your first shot. Yeah. There we go. Well done. Excellent. Three shots. You anchored him nicely. So. Well done. That's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. So that first shot, so the gun is shooting back, for sure. And also the wind, eh? I aimed right here. Yeah. yeah. These last two right here. You anchored him with those two. I saw him go like this. Yeah. But excellent. Very good shooting. I'm, as I said, 18 years of guarding. I've never seen that before. Incredible. 
I mean, look at this. Son. Oh my gosh. That's heavy, yeah. That is a big son of a gun. Dude, this thing is heavy. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't joke. <laughs> this thing is heavy, heavy. That's a big one. That's a big one. <sighs> How old do you think he is? Uh, he's eight, nine years old. He's beautiful horns. How, so can we roll this thing up? He said this thing's about nine years old. And he keeps saying it's really big. That's so it makes me feel really good. I don't know anything about these things, even though they're extremely tough. We're talking three seven mil rounds. Three. Do they have uh, like plates on them anywhere? Kind of like a pig? They don't have that kind of plating? They're yeah. just strong? Yeah, they're just very strong, man. It's... Congratulations. I feel good. Thank you. First Thanks for helping me. It was crazy. We were literally like just kind of cruising around. We want to kind of get a, a feel for the place. Just walking, and all of a sudden we look up, and there's just this sucker just sitting right there. He goes, what do you think? You feel confident in your shot? And I'm like, ah, we'll give it a shot, I guess. Dude, we need to we need to install a winch on our truck. Actually, we don't ever. I don't think we shoot anything that yeah, needs we don't, a winch. Yeah, I guess we don't. <laughs> That's good, it's a good one. Yes. That's a good one? Yeah. It's See, one. it's reassuring when he says it's good. Okay. Up, up, two, up, two, three. Up, 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 three. Up, up, three. One, two, three. Up, up, three. Up, up, three. Up. It's heavy, yeah. Well, I'll tell you guys right now, I was not really expecting that. Today was kind of like it would be a travel day, and all of a sudden we ended up finding this place is absolutely just amazing. I've, I've never in my life have seen this many animals on such a. I'm trying to tell you guys how big this piece of property is. Those mountains that we saw, it, it goes all the way past up over those mountains on the back side of those mountains, all the way around. All the way around. There's just so many different planes games over the next three days. I don't, I don't know. I, I, it would be. It, it would be. <laughs> Crazy for me to say this, but if we could take one animal a day for the next three days, it somehow, it wouldn't really shock me because I've, I've never, like I said, I've never seen this much animals roaming around. But I do have one that I really, really like to go after and that's a red leshway. Tonight, we're gonna be actually be eating kudu steak. Um, that's actually what we do with all the meat here. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been asking, what do you do with the meat? It goes to locals, it goes to schools, it goes to uh, all the workers that work on these camps. Um, what else? I mean, we, we eat it, of course. Uh, we, ate, we ate some water buck last night. I'm telling you guys right now, water buck lasagna. It, fun, absolutely phenomenal. But tonight's gonna be kudu steaks. I'm gonna change out of this and I'll, and I'll, I'll see you guys here in a second. I was legitimately about to change, but then realized, you know what? I don't have any warmer clothes. I don't have any warmer clothes. It's the warmest clothes I got. And it's a bit chilly. This half door thing's weird. That's, uh, that's the wildebeest, huh? So this is clearly the next day. Thought I should close out this section of this video like this. There's the wildebeest is all hung up, prepped and ready. Looking mighty tasty, I might add. But everything's in house. I pretty much literally do everything here. Process the meat and all, huh? Oh, this is definitely in a different language, isn't it? No, it's not. That's Afrikaans. That's definitely a different language. I saw chili bites. Chili bites, as I say, skillop sk something. Uh, the mount or the, the head. There he is right there. Prepped and ready, tagged to go. Ready to get back to America. <sighs> but you know what, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed that video i know it was a, it was actually kind of a strange little more of a travel day but you know what tomorrow which i say tomorrow but it's actually today i didn't want to end that video without showing you guys that animal being processed skinned and prepped and ready because we've uh you're probably gonna get eaten just a little bit of it tonight which i'm pretty excited about all these animals here in africa taste phenomenal last night we had kudu bull tonight we're gonna have a little bit of my blue wildebeest and then we'll probably have some of the animal which you guys saw just a small bit of that rackley just harvested here this morning have a little bit of that as well but i hope you guys did enjoy this series just stay prepped and ready stay prepped and ready it's not gonna end we got some more coming right at you so just let's go ahead and roll into something i'll see you guys here in a little bit Thank you.